Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Winston travel vlog. It's your favourite Aussie abroad, Winston. And today, I'm here at all the International Airport here in Paris, and I'm going to be reviewing the EasyJet flight from Paris to Geneva. So obviously, I'm about to go start my new life up in the snow in Morzine. It's going to be awesome uh, to achieve this. But um, I'm going to do a review. Uh, the day hasn't got off to the best of starts. Literally, I just got stung 48 euros uh, to <laughs> put an extra, like, it was under the total weight, but because I, the bag was slightly too wide, they made me basically pay an extra 48 euros. So already uh, the review hasn't got off the best of starts, but hopefully it can get better from uh, here on now. And uh, yeah, so the total flight cost, it was um, 110 euros. So that was uh, the base fare with one bag, but I just had to pay another 48 euro. So we're looking at about 170 euro just to start proceedings from uh, here to Geneva. There's a big line, about to board. Got myself a four euro coffee. So back in Paris through Geneva, it's going to get expensive. Um, but uh, look, let's go do this review. And guys, if you do enjoy my content, as I just mentioned, coffees, they're always good. I would appreciate a coffee. Or you can send money directly to my National Australia Bank account. If you want to see some interesting content from the snow, want me to do some food reviews, whatever the content may be, I'm up for the challenge. And um, I'm also raising money for Beyond Blue, which helps people with anxiety, depression, and mental health issues back home in Australia. So without further ado, let's get into the video. And I hope you enjoy today's EasyJet plane review. Bonjour. Merci. Okay, so we just got through security. That's the second round of security. And we're about to head down some stairs. So it looks like we're actually going on the tarmac. It's a pretty ordinary day here in Paris. Here on this Sunday, the 4th of December, 2022. Um, I would say it's probably like, maybe like six, seven degrees. But uh, let's have a look. So there's the EasyJet flight. I'll find out what kind of plane it is in a moment once we jump on board and have a look at the a la carte menu. Very cool. Got an Iberian air, airline over there. Okay, so we're about to board the plane. Seems like everything's on time. Bonjour. Merci. Okay, so we're sitting in seat 19D. Okay, so we've just boarded the flight and we're currently on an A320 Boeing, so that's the update from, from the plane. It's the same kind of plane I bought the other day. Uh, total flight time is 50 minutes. And we've currently got the lovely staff, or well, different staff than ones I've had to deal with before, doing their job. Telling us about the exits and what we're going to do in case the plane falls out of the sky. Just take me out if it does. Emergency lighting will So, yeah, 50 minutes, we'll be in Geneva. And then I believe it's about 90 minutes to Morzine on, on a shuttle bus where I get picked up. So, we're about to take off. Overcast conditions here in Paris. It must be and I can't imagine it's going to be much better in Geneva. But let's get the show on the road. And I hope you enjoy today's sales, masks will drop from above. Easy jet. Follow mask to flight review to start. Chers passagers, 
croissant. Well, the super sun is on and we will see the movement to the capital. Wink shopping et a une carte de vol. Ainsi. Let's check out the La Carte. Cheese, jambon, coffee, snacks. landing and I'll tell you what the, the view outside my window is sensational snow-capped mountains and we're about I think about five or six minutes from, from landing at Geneva Airport so I'll show you I'll show you what, exactly what I'm looking at right now and it's sensational So we're just on the transfer bus here in Geneva Airport. So many airports do this sort of thing around the world, just depending on how busy they are. But Geneva being Geneva, one of the, the, the big hubs here in Europe. So basically we're going to get through a uh, security check, border pass control, and then pick up my two bags that I've got. And then hopefully from the email that I got, um, somewhere in the arrivals hall will be a transfer with my name on it. So, interesting times ahead, but join me on the adventure and uh, 
yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we go through Geneva Airport. Okay, so here's one of my bags. Okay, so it opened it up, that's not good. And here's my other bag. So I have to pay 48 euro for that. Which is ridiculous. Uh, anyway, I got my bags and we're gonna get through border security now. Please remain I'm get up my two bags, which cost me 48 euro unexpectedly. Please but I've come a farm down, I've had to with you. think about Check the whole situation. Underneath the seat, my advice and would be to really read the T's and C's the of these budget airlines because I've been traveling all around Europe on an airline to be recycled and please place I've been getting away with it with an extra bag here or two or a little bit of weight but it seems easier to get a really strict not on their T's and C's so look I can only blame myself at the end of the day own your own mistakes used. and that I, I did I've got to own it and why not download the easy it sucks it's a really bad feeling when you get stung extra 48 euro unexpectedly but yeah so that would be my advice um, easy jet and really from one handy place. really make sure what you're actually you for playing with us today, because if you don't you'll get there you'll get frustrated like so, I did and it wasn't the greatest experience but overall Airbus A320 smooth leg room had a good menu the staff came out because it was only such a short flight the staff came out quick drink quick snack etc so yeah, all those things that you expect on a flight and I would give it look, overall based on my own mistake as well um, plus the language barrier as well across the international borderline they speak all sorts of different languages in all of Europe um, and especially being in France my French is not very good the English is not very good so France is a bit of a problem for me but um, overall I'd give it a three star just be very wary and careful of you know how you book it and when you book it but you can get quite cheap deals and I probably paid over so all up I think I spent approximately 160 or 70 euro for two bags, the flights, including taxes and surcharges and that's 170 euro which is about 220 or 30 Australian dollars. So I paid overs, but it is what it is. But if you book in early, I'm sure you get a good deal. So look, uh, that caps off the review here on Winstone Travel. Please consider subscribing to my channel as I, well, I look to 2K and beyond. We're over 1,000. Consider buying me a coffee if you do enjoy the content that I am producing each and every month. And I'm really raising money for Beyond Blue, which helps people with anxiety, depression, and mental health issues back home in Australia. Stay with me for the next three months as I live and work in more zen. I'm looking forward to showing you my life while you live vicariously through my eyes. So thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon on the next edition of Winstone Travel Vlogs. Take care. Peace. And I'm out.